We'll bring you back, Clint. The elves behind the scenes will magically fix the problem. Oh, he sat in his magical lounge chair. He had some headphones arching over his hair. He got off from work tonight so he could come on the show. Well, how's it going, dude? Uh, it's doing pretty good. You caught me right in the middle of screening somebody. I was just like looking at my like, look at the corner. I couldn't hear anything, and I see myself, and I'm like, "Oh, that's me." You you were screening yourself because the surveillance no, state has actually gotten into that much complicated that we have self reflective self surveillance these days. It's that crazy what's going on. So you were screening yourself. It is. It moment. is crazy. Yep, pretty much. Uh, I got a few things to tell you. Something really what? interesting happened at work today. Okay, what's that? And it's one of those things that only happens at a Walmart. Apparently, inside the store, I missed this part. This crazy guy, like, was apparently hitting himself. The managers approached him, and, like, he's just making all sorts of noise, going crazy and everything. And he, laugh, um, laugh, laugh, laugh. like, listen. It's 2013. We don't call people crazy anymore. The politically correct term is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. This guy was in there. Uh, you're like, this guy was freaking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, man. So um, you may continue your story. Okay. Well, anyway, this guy was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and he was just um, like hitting himself and making a big ruckus. And um, the manager, like, brought him to the meat locker because, like, it's, um, like, more soundproof because he was making enough noise for everyone in the Walmart to hear. And, so you didn't um, remove him from they, the store? Uh, you just took him into, like, administrative segregation in the back of the store? Is that even legal to do that? Anyway, it's not my business. <laughs> uh, pretty Please much, continue. It was pretty much because of the fact that they were thinking that he was uh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs that was going to hurt somebody or himself. And um, gotcha. he ended up... Uh, like, I didn't know about this till an ambulance pops up. And it doesn't, all the ambulances usually do is go to the front of the store. Well, this one went to the back of the store. And I'm like, why did this go to the back? Then a fire truck goes to the back. And then about five police cars show up to get the guy. And, like, I had, like, I'm like, what the hell just happened? Did somebody just get killed? Or um, did somebody get hurt? And so, anyway, like, I asked one of the policemen. He said, well, this guy, uh, well, uh, this guy is cooking for Cocoa Puffs. He's just um, messing with the, he's like re uh, resisting um, the paramedic um, assistance and everything. So we had to do this uh, um, cooking for Cocoa Puffs person so that he wouldn't hurt himself or the paramedic. I see. And that's pretty much what happened. So he was getting violent and you were always going to hit stuff. So you take it back to the meat locker. And there's like a bunch of sides of beef on big hooks and stuff, I'm imagining, back in the freezer. And so he's just back there like, <laughs> well, let him, let him hit the dead cows in the meat locker instead of the, the, uh, the patrons, I mean the customers, I mean the guests at the store. The Walmart yeah, guests. that's always the better thing. The also, Walmart guests, I have a request the why you. we do all this, you know. What's your question? Well, not question, but the request. Also, hmm. A5 for Battleship. Oh, yeah. Did I hit? Uh, no, that's <laughs> a miss. Everybody misses tonight. Oh, darn it. Dang it. Anyway, um, uh, my friend called me at work while I was on. His wife is pregnant, and they're going to be having a baby sometime in the future. And mm -hmm. also today is one of my friend's birthdays. So can you mix all three of those stories together into a song? The first the story being the... Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
Cause Lamp has two friends with birthday related news. One has an actual birthday, the other one's given birth in a few months, it seems. Lamp was at his store where he is a team member. And he had to deal with some stuff going down. Cause it did cooking up the cocoa pops and he was maybe gonna try to steal some stuff so lamp had to call an ambulance a fire truck and five police cars just to make sure that the dude wouldn't harm anyone for himself his lamp was gonna wish his friend a happy birthday and his other friend a happy future birthday for his kid. Lamb got off from work, cause his responsibility he won't shirk. Help the crazy dude out of the meat freezer into the ambulance, and then he went on his way. You know, Lamp, when you told the story, I thought what you said is, and then an amulet showed up. I was picturing like, some kind of sacred amulet that you would get in a in a like adventure story or video game or something. And I was like, wait, an amulet showed up? This story just got really weird. It got really weird anyway, to be honest. Yeah. Well, the guy was cooking for Cocoa Pop, so something weird was bound to happen anyway. Lamp, have an awesome evening. <laughs> Fantastic to see you tonight. And I will clutch you in my iron grip if you don't. Get away.